Okay, so, Raymarine Little E series. Got to do software updates. This unit's at 14.36, uh, along with the unit up above. But we're going to go in here, save all our settings before software update. Show you how to do that. <clears throat> Hit the autopilot button on my fat finger. Got the card in there. Alright, my data. Import export. Save data to card. Save all. It's going to give you a name. I'm going to add in. Hello. Save that. Touch screen's a little out of cow. Okay, so that part's done. We've saved all the waypoints. Now we're going to back up our settings. Okay, and that's now saved. We can now go back and eject the cart. Card. There we go. So now we insert our software update. Okay. Now I'm going to power this guy down. You may hear the upper display start to scream once I do that. How about that? Now I'm going to boot this up, let it go through its sequence, and I'll go shut off that upper display as soon as I see this start. There we go. Only need to do the waypoints and settings from the master unit, of which this is the master on this vessel. Depending on what level of software your display is at, will determine typically how long the software update takes. Thank you. 
It's almost done. Guy's got the filters on tight on this radio. Now each one of these base maps serves as literally the base layer of the charts on the unit, of which the chart cards are layers on top of the base map. And that's one of the reasons that the downloads are so large. This particular download for these displays is just under one gigabyte. I'll probably have cut a chunk out of this in the center. just because there's only so much of this you can stand watching. Hey, look at that. And an elapsed time of just under nine minutes for saving the settings and updating the software in this display. So not horrible. And then to do the other display out in the cockpit, and then the actual individual instrument displays which are scattered around the boat.